Hallå, hallå, för det här igen. Det är ett nytt år och nya möjligheter. Jag hoppas alla har haft en trevlig helglighet, men nu är det dags att fortsätta med Eternal Darkness. Vi har hittat nästa kapiteldel och den ska vi hoppa rätt in i. Det här kan jag nämna är den jag tycker är bäst kapitlet i spelet, så jag har något att se fram emot. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed into a field hospital. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, and mustard gas. Rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men soak gauze on their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. Någonstans lyckligt och hälsosamt. Och här då. Så det slutar. First letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love Margaret. I was admitted to the hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there is no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I am reminded that I will never be able to do things I love. The hospital is a very strange place, converted from an old cathedral. There is an odd atmosphere around it, silent, but for the word of the wounded calling out in the night, there is no doubt it is haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right. No goodbyes or farewell, just empty bed when you wake. That's not creepy at all. Faint sound of moaning emanates from behind the linen veils, whispered utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, words offered only by those who face their mortality. With a motherly voice, the nurse advises that Peter gets pressed. The soldier is rather distressed. Perhaps he has lost a lot of friends in the trenches to some. He confides only he finds that the only stories are the sad ones, and that the only true heroes are in the mortuary. Bloodstained sheets, these poor souls have passed in this world. For them, the suffering is over, but for those around them, the ordeal continues. What a happy place. Anything to say? The cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from aged varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and there doesn't appear to be any way opening manually. Hmm. There's a letter there. So why is that one list that I meet up with that we are in from the other post? Official note on Army Regulation stand Stationery. The note reads, Private Thompson, by order of Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of H.R.H. George, George V, 
You are to leave your post of duty and rally in the street outside Ublie Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the king. His Royal Highness stole in charge for... I'm under it. The guard frowns and ushers Peter away from the Vorgan. He explains that it is one of the few antiques in the region that so far survived the war and that, while he's alive, will remain intact. So I'm going to sit to the two kids of war. Hmm. I'm going to be used in the Hui Punks beside us. An odd collection of colored lines decorate the wall below the signs. This appear to lead up to the wall, going nowhere. How curious. Peter, it's already floors. Abruptly, the, the, the guard asks if Peter has clearance for the old tower, as it is a restricted area. The guard inspects the orders and hands them back to Peter, saying that these orders are never someone else. Okay. Leave a story for it. The area is off limits to civilians. Before being so close, the curfew has been imposed. Traveling outside the hospital is not a safe thing to do, since intruders will likely be shot on sight. Peter decides to remain inside. No, hi, in a second. Make it better. I'll just give a uh, forward to Hello? Stack and create medical spies we use. Cigarettes of morphine bandages really excited. Let's go home. Yeah. Bitch, you don't know my life? Jackson to his love, Margaret. I've been here for over a week now, and there is no word that when I will be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened, and at night the sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement, whispers. I have seen war firsthand. The sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he had heard cries for help in the middle of the night, cries that were only answered by snarls of rage and not compassion. Another said Lance Corporal Has Haskell has not been discharged, but had gone missing. I stare at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. Mm, lucky Benny. Something tells me the private isn't with us anymore. Bloody hell, lad! We must be on the offensive! 
Following the orders, he takes leave of his post. Assigned the muster paycheck. Feelings these posters declare that the Allies are fighting good fight. It's small comfort for the occupants of the room whose spent corpses line the cold cathedral floor. Ooh, someone left a gun behind. Just take this. Uh -oh. That's probably not good. Peter says before the price of human war, the bloody corpse of a young man who made the ultimate sacrifice to better cultures and those of it. Uh oh. Time for the tomb of eternal darkness. Well, shit. Let's start with casting a spell. I want to cast a spell. We'll cast a full mingle. I out of ammo. Uh, I don't have any more ammo. Oh, good. Uh, can I have another? Can use a stun enemies. Okay. Ah, no. Have a rifle. Can I find a rifle? It's just dark in here. Take it clean. We are surprised that it is not more chaotic than our friend in the hospital. Over me. 
ammunition. Sweet. as this pipe organ have remained mostly the same since the installation. Originally, the bells were driven manually. Now they are steam powered and organ controlled electrically. So the oldest pipe organ in the world. Where am I going? Generator is working, but doesn't appear to be fighting power to the circus cathedral. Perhaps the fuse is blown. There's a lever to switch the generator on and off. A sound of metal grating. This metal is combined with his steam, but there doesn't appear to be any. Oh, the circuit broke. Okay, we. Prop scope, bitte. Face fuse box. Fuse appears missing. No sign of where it could be. Can I use this? A rush of inventiveness. Peter jams the lucky penny in place of fuse. Amazingly, it works. Don't try this at home, kids. Yay! Unlimited power! Oh, power, anyway. Gas is full of maturing wine line in the cellar amidst the rates of the cold air. When the war is over, if it ever is, the wine will be of good vintage. The soldier's body lies on the floor, far from the front line. This poor man is end. His fate is far removed from brothers in arms, a victim of the cathedral rather than a bullet or bayonet. Something else. Hey. Okay. The cinder engine here is a monstrosity. So Jules Verne had dreamed it. An antique behemoth covered in brass fittings and spikes wreathed in thorns of crackling electricity. The generator is working and providing power to the key circuits. I 
and a new Eustian. This kept meticulously clean. Peter's surprised that it is not more chaotic for the frontline hospital. After all, it isn't this where death certificates are written. You think so? Like the Marie Celeste, the disc hasn't been touched in some time. As though its user had suddenly turned away and never returned. Half written letter bespeaks silent and finished activity. Sleep is place forgotten. Yes, play the organ. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Oh wait, I got this. I mean, the fantastic splitting. Ooh, iron rifle. Sweet. I'll just clear it up. I'll go not only to prevent looting, but also for the place. I'll just buy some. I'll buy some. I want the. I want the. Rifle, yes. Pick up the rifle. Ah, oh, go away. Ah! Oh! Eh. Holy water, other ritualistic items. Only a door handle on the lower shelf. Yes. Sorry there, lady. Uh, I was aiming for that guy. Eh. Eh. Hit. Hit. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Ah! Get off.
off. Save you. Uh, stop that. This can't be happening. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's try that again. Load up her. Stone sense a deep woe gnaws at his heart. Cathedrals are doubly evil and not the holy place it's thought to be. In the rudimentary more blood stained sheets. Yeah. Oh. Well, Fine, I'll heal it.
inget annat här uppe. Det är svärd. Yes, Twitch Sword. För dem det från för skjutvapnen. Känner också, haha. Jag tror att vi behöver höja magi i alla fall. Vad får vi ska nu? Hittar du dörrhandtag? Jag sitter en dörr som passar till. Men här såg jag inte tidigare. Jag sitter ett trapperhål här. Vad ska vi se? Ni ni samma trapper. Nej, jag måste summona en... Ah, jag tror inte. Kimmi, kimmi, kimmi. Uh, en sjukpunkt. Vad är det så djup i hjulet? Jag har en typ av stor trän. Jag har inte hört dig. Börjar jag själv i rummet innan jag kommer till hans vunds. Okej. Vi gör så här helt enkelt då. Bye bye. Tre cyklar hittar man i kyrkan. Vi måste just stå kvar för steam drone. Det är inte många pärlor som finns kvar. Än det svåra är att det är långt av. Alltså ärligt, skulle inte Peter kunna krypa in om det håller själv? Eh, whatever. Så nu kan jag gå... Nu kan jag ta hand om det här rummet. Eller ja. Det som borden fanns. Upp. Nej. Nu ska vi se. Nu kan vi köra en Reveal Invisible här. Spell list. Ah, must to scrap the first one. Nye, nye. Scratches and dents in Festival, telling a long dark story. It's missing a handle. I get your heat and a handle. Use! I mean, I'm going there, it's going to spoil. Load save. That one. Yes. Hey, ammunition. Zombies! Bone thieves. Okay. Now we 
ner mot avgrunden igen. Hej, hej då. Yeah, it's a big thing. That, that, that. And he's dead. Turn back some more. Enchant that weapon. Det är svärdigt strakt i vår mys. Så, det vet du. Dröm, 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 dröm. Det ska jag. Trapper. Jag ska använda senare, men uh, jag har den tyckten så att säga. Attackspelet. Det Hur går det för vår kära Private här? Third letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love Margaret. It's been two weeks since Haskell went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than uh, more than once, I saw shadows of people moving around past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed, uh, drugged and delirious in the dead of night, never to be seen again. As Haskell was, perhaps as I will be. What happened to them, I don't know. I am afraid to ask what happened, for I, I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken into the darkness. Well, isn't that lovely? Uh, let me see it. Uh, enchant. Tor. So, if I just. Binding hall. Där det stora, äckliga huvudsprängande monstret finns. Yay! Det var väl det. Nej, det var inget. Soldier's cold and stiff body lies sprawled on the steps. Peter attempts to flip the corpse over, discover his identity, but also left a man's face as ruined mess of eaten flesh. Yay! That makes me a happy camper. I 
Magic on text spell. Why would it be here of all places? Here, in this corridor. I wonder. Maybe because I have to use it in an in upcoming boss battle. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go in shield. Can I follow him? What are Come on, faster. Ah, where's the season? Here we go.
it went into the hinder. Quick second. You're too slow! Get fast! Haha! <laughs> 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 ha! Take that! I am Master Magic. Guardian assault had vanquished, and the stained glass that kept it hidden lying in pieces, the essence of Shaturga is now liberated. Its magic beckons to Peter, calling to him. He approaches cautiously. Yes. Peter reaches out for the artifact, but pulls away as he feels a corrosive magic close to his hand. Wrapping his hand in a shred of clothing, he carefully lifts the artifact from his resting place. Sixty-nine years later. And that was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. Hmm. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I'm sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. For the gift. For an unusual objet d'art. La -ta. Yay, and an artifact sacred. And she's stepping me nose. How are you, number two? Pious Harden, she's still so. Having stopped reading, Alex discovered a small penny taped to the back of Peter's chapter page. That's a lucky penny. Well, it's gonna see what we can do with it next time. For now, we're here for what we're doing. Besiktad boss och allt väldigt som så vi ska fortsätta med det här. Det är bara ett par kapitel kvar innan spelet är avklarat. Så tills dess så får ni ha det så trevligt. Vi får se när vi kommer igång med alla podcast och liknande igen. Um, så håll ett öga på kanalen för det. Uh, så länge så får jag önska hej då.